Newman projections. Newman projections are a shorthand way to represent conformations of molecules. Let's take a look at the molecule that we have on the left side here. The red dots are carbons and the blue dots are the attachments. So we have two carbons, let's call them number carbon number one and carbon number two. And carbon number one is connected to A on top. It has B that is coming at us, C that is going in the back. And carbon number two has Z that's going to sit down, E that's coming at us, and F that's going in the back. So how do we represent this molecule by Newman projection? Imagine that you're standing in front of the molecule and, st and staring at carbon number one. So Newman projection, this little dot here, is carbon number one, right there. Now, what will you see? On top, you will see A. So my A goes on top. To the right of you, you're going to see B, so B goes to the right. And to the left of you, you're going to see C, C goes to the left. Carbon number two is directly behind carbon number one. So if you're staring at carbon number one, you will not see carbon number two because it's hiding behind. So here we see carbon number two hiding behind carbon number one. And it is attached to Z, Z is at the bottom here, and then F would be on the left side, and E would be on the right side. And now the confirmation that this molecule could take when we rotate around the single bond is when all of the attachments are behind one another. So you can see here A and Z, Z is right behind A, and then same thing goes for B and F and C and E. And this is how we would draw it right behind, right next to each other, A and Z, B and F, E and C. And this is another kind of confirmation that we can have. The first kind where groups are as far apart from another as possible is called staggered. And in staggered confirmation, the angle between the substituents, the dihedral angle, is 60 degrees. The confirmation where groups are right be behind one another is called eclipse. And here, the dihedral angle will be 0 degrees. What do we have to know that is really, really important? Staggered confirmation is always more stable and lower in energy than eclipse. So if you're asked on the test to draw the most stable confirmation, it must be staggered. If you're asked to draw the least stable confirmation, it must be eclipsed. Let's go ahead and look at what kind of different confirmations we can draw for butane. So here's my molecule of, but of butane. And let's say that we're looking at carbon number one and behind it will be carbon number two. We can start any way that we want but I started, this is my carbon number one. It has two hydrogens. I just put two hydrogens and a methyl group. And behind it, I have carbon number two that has two hydrogens and a methyl group. And that's how I put it. And I started with the staggered conformation. Then you're just going to rotate everything by 60 degree angle to go to the next confirmation. So this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. So CH3 is next to H, H is next to C3, H and H are next to each other. Then you rotate again. So you go staggered, eclipsed. Now when you're going to rotate, you will get staggered again. So you rotate, rotate, rotate. I like rotating the carbon in the back. Hydrogen goes up, methyl goes here, this hydrogen goes here. Now we have staggered. If we rotate again, you can see the pattern. So if they ask you for all the confirmations, this is what you have to do. Now hydrogen behind, hydrogen behind, two methyl groups next to each other. We rotate again like this. We will have staggered confirmation again. And then when we rotate again, we will have eclipse. 
If we rotate this eclipse confirmation one more time, we will get to where we started from. So these are all of the confirmations that we have for butane. Now, which confirmations would be more stable and which confirmations would be less stable? We said the most stable confirmations are always staggered. So this is staggered. Let me just go ahead and erase all of my arrows so we can see clearly my staggered and eclipse confirmations. And I'm going to try to rotate to erase. Okay. So this one, staggered, eclipsed, staggered, eclipsed, staggered, and eclipsed. Which one is the most stable? For sure, it must be one of the staggered ones. So we don't even have to look at eclipsed because staggered is always more stable. In this staggered confirmation, we see that the two big groups, which are methyl groups, are right opposite of one another. They are as far from one another as possible. And this is called NC. In this confirmation, we see that the two methyl groups are next to each other. That is not as stable because the, it is they are bumping into one another. The, there is tag hindrance here. So this is called gouge. And in this confirmation, the two methyl groups are right next to one another as well. So this is called gouge as well. So when we have in a staggered confirmation, two big groups next to each other, that is called gouge and that is not as stable. If in a staggered confirmation we have two big groups opposite of, an, of one another, it is called ANSI and this is more stable. So out of all the confirmations, this one would be more stable. Which one would be less stable? Well, it must be one of the eclipsed one. If we look at the eclipsed confirmations, we see that in this one, two methyl groups are right behind one another. So they will be bumping into one another and this will create, and this will make it unstable. So this confirmation is least stable, confirmation D. So if we go on the energy diagram and show all of our confirmation on the energy diagram, A, we said it's most stable, so it would be lowest in energy. And D, we said, is least stable, so it will be higher in energy. B is eclipsed, so it will be higher than A. C is staggered, so it should be lower than B. Then we said E, I'm sorry, we said D is least stable, so it should be the highest. Then E should be the same energy level as C, because they're both I'm sorry here because they're both gouge and then we have F which would be the same energy level as B because they're they are both eclipsed and they both have methyl group next to a hydrogen methyl next to a hydrogen and same thing here so they should be on the same energy level. Now let's go ahead and practice the following problem it says following is the structural formula of 1 to dichloroethane Draw Newman projections for all staggered conformation formed by rotation from 0 to 360 degree about the carbon-carbon single bond. Which staggered conformation has the lowest energy, which has the highest energy, and which of these staggered conformations are related by reflection? So let's go ahead and get to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to number this carbon 1, and this will be my carbon 2. And I'm going to draw my confirmation. It says that I must draw staggered, so I want them as far apart as possible. So I'm going to draw it like this. My carbon number one has two hydrogens and a chlorine. So you can draw it and you can add them anywhere you want. I'm going to put two hydrogens here and a chlorine here. My carbon behind it, carbon number two, has two hydrogens and a chlorine. So how could they go? They could go like this. And that would be one of my staggered confirmations. What other confirmation could I have? Let's go ahead and leave this one. I'm going to leave the front one the same. And I'm just going to rotate the back carbon. So I'm going to put hydrogen here, chlorine here, 
hydrogen here. They will switch their places. So my hydrogen one here, chlorine one here, and another hydrogen, this hydrogen one here. This is another conformation. And let's go ahead and do the third conformation again. My top carbon, I'm leaving the same, and I'm just rotating my carbon behind it. So I'm going to rotate, and let me just draw this already. I'm going to rotate chlorine here, hydrogen here, this hydrogen goes here. So this chlorine would be here, this hydrogen goes here, this hydrogen there, and this hydrogen here. And these are my three staggered conformations. Which of these has the lowest energy? So let's go ahead and check. Well, this one has chlorines opposite of one another. This is called anti. This one has two chlorines right next to one another. Is that stable? No, they're bumping into one another. They don't like it. So this should be less stable. This one has two chlorines bumping into one another as well. So both of these conformations are going to be called gauge. Which one is most stable? Sta uh, NC or gauge? NC is most stable, so this should be my most stable conformation. And let's go ahead and answer the last question. Which of any of the staggered conformations are related by reflection? So we can see that this conformation and this conformation, they're basically mirror images of one another. So these two are reflected by reflection.